It has just been reported by Elliot Friedman that McCann, a 2016 second, and a 2016 fourth have been traded to Florida in exchange for Eric Goodbranson and a fifth round pick this year. Oh my goodness! Jeez, okay, this this just happened a few seconds ago. The tweets were posted a few seconds ago. I freaked out, jumped up, ran around the living room like, what the hell is Benning doing? But then I took a little bit of time to settle down and think, okay, why is he doing this? Why is he giving away, arguably, the prospect with the most potential in the Canuck system? away to Florida for a defenseman back who is relatively young. I mean, he is 24, drafted third overall in 2010 by the Florida Panthers. And Eric Goodbranson is a guy who has proven that he can play at the NHL level, you know? He has 309 NHL games played, with 72 games played in his draft plus two years. So, Really, if you take a look at it, we're trading McCann and picks for an experienced young defenseman and a fifth round pick. Now, if you take a look at this in the big picture, take a look at the trades that Benning has made in the past, I see this as kind of like a Granlin 2 deal. Take a look at what that deal had to offer. We had Hunter Shinkarik for Granlin straight up. Hunter Shinkarik, a guy who Benning said did not really have the potential that everyone thought he did. So they give him away to Calgary and they get back a guy who has proven himself in the NHL but is still young. This is kind of what I see with this trade here as McCann, you know, a lot of people said that he did not deserve to play in the NHL this year, but he was too good to play in the OHL. And since there isn't that hybrid of the AHL for 19-year-olds, they had no choice but to leave him up here because they didn't want him developing down there in the Sioux. But really, this is surprising because people say all the time, yeah, give him a chance. He's only played one season in the NHL. Look at Hunter Shinkarik. He hasn't even played a full season in the NHL before he was traded. He played one game. Was it one or two? I'm not sure. But he had no definite shot with the Canucks. And if... McCann turns out to be a really good player, I think that's what we're going to be expecting to look at too. That McCann, after having, let's just face it, he had a hot start to the year, but kind of trailed off and became invisible. His face-off stats were horrendous, which is why he was playing the wing for the end of the season. And all in all, a lot of people would say that Jared McCann did not have a very good first season in the NHL, but then again, it's the first season on a team like the Canucks, who's trying to get back into the younger state, the younger set of things. And really, if you take a look at what the Canucks gave up in this trade, McCann and a second and a fourth, my goodness, those are young players. McCann is turning 20 in like six days. He's still 19. And the season that he had with Vancouver... I feel is not going to be an accurate representation of how the rest of his career will play out. Sure, Benning and Trevor Linden and all of those guys up there, they might think, yeah, we do not see the potential in him. We do not think he's going to become a player that everyone thinks he's going to be. So right now, it is our duty to trade him for assets that we believe will make a huge impact for this organization in the future. And... Really, you know, I don't like this deal. I don't like this deal. Not that there's anything against Eric Branson. You know, he's a guy who's proven himself. He's a right-handed defenseman, which is good, you know. Right-handed defensemen are prized possessions in the NHL, so it's cool that we got one of those. He's 24 years old, so for sure he's a guy that will help out the Canucks in the future if he stays on the team, but he's definitely not as young as a Jared McCann. And a Jared McCann is still going through that early stage of developing into an NHL player. Who knows, he could be a bust. Maybe in five years we're all going to be looking at this trade and being like, yeah, this was a fantastic deal, what a steal. Jared McCann, the fourth line bust for Eric Goodbranson, and a few draft picks that maybe, you know, Benning could have used. But... Really, if you take a look at the draft picks, this is also what I'm disappointed about in this trade. A second and a fourth for a fifth. Take out McCann and Goodbranson, you have a second and a fourth for a fifth. Taking out the players involved, that's what you have. And really, you know, a second round pick could go a long way this year, especially since the Canucks' second round pick is 33rd overall. Come on, guys. Like, 
We were all planning, who are we going to take at 33rd overall? Tyler Benson, maybe? Alex DeBrincat? Any one of those guys who will drop to the second round, the Canucks have a chance at taking. But now that the second round pick is gone, that's out the door. And instead, maybe a Florida team can get an Alex DeBrincat or a Tyler Benson. Who knows? I'm disappointed in this deal because we're giving away parts of our future. Sure, we get a fifth back, but for what? for two assets that were drafted before it. People say all the time, yeah, Benning's greatest skill is drafting, and I agree 100% with that. Benning's skill at drafting is fantastic. So far, no one has a problem with any of the picks he's made in the past two years, and sure, he's going to use this fifth round pick to his advantage, but really, you're giving up more picks for a lower pick, and you're giving up a younger guy who hasn't proved himself for a guy who we already know what he's about, and really doesn't have that potential to grow as much as a Jared McCann can. Jared McCann, sure, you could say he had a bad season, but he's only played one year in the NHL, and he's only 19, he's not even 20 yet. Good Branson's 24. So really, if I'm the only one who's freaking out about this deal, don't blame me because I have some justifications. But I don't think Canucks fans will like this deal. I do not think that 100% because the draft picks... We just devalued our draft picks. A second and a fourth for a fifth. McCann for Good Branson could be the equalizer on this deal, but really, McCann is a guy who still has top six potential in the NHL, and Good Branson is a guy who has been playing in a good role defensively in Florida. So the Canucks, what do we get out of this? We get ourselves another right handed defenseman to go along with Philip Larson, Chris Tanev, and we also get ourselves. A decrease in our draft picks. What does Florida get? Florida gets a young, unproven center who is still 19, as well as two extra draft picks to compensate for their fifth one that they lost, with one of the draft picks being 33rd overall. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sure, pause, thanks for downloading, share, like, and also subscribe to us on gaming, and bye.